back at it again. We're gonna go through a bunch of watches. We're gonna be pricing them out. I got a duffel bag full of stuff. Sometimes when I go through my buying and I go through the pricing, I almost forget what I buy. So I'm gonna be opening them up with you. This looks like a Panerai radio mirror. It's gonna be a 47 millimeter case size, stainless steel. You're gonna have the beautiful tan hour markers. You're gonna have the six o'clock right here. You're gonna have the date. This is gonna be a 47 millimeter case size. So this one is gonna be a see-through case back. You're gonna have that beautiful movement on the back. Panerai does a good job. This does wear a little bit larger at a 47 millimeter case size. It is watch only, so it does not have the papers with it. We are going to be pricing this one at 5,100. So check this out, reference number 6536. This is gonna be a very special piece. I'm not gonna price this out yet. I want to show it to you guys. All original dial, original bracelet, original everything. I'm gonna be sending this out to a really good friend of mine that's a expert in vintage, and he's gonna give me the whole scope on it what the watch is worth and um, all the intel because on vintage watches, you do have to be careful. You do have to send it out to a person that really knows what they're doing because the last thing you wanna do is sell something and not describe it correctly. So this one is a vintage Omega. The stitching over there, my watchmaker chose this design. He really liked it. You're gonna have an aftermarket yellow gold buckle. So that's not gonna be the original buckle. Thinner piece, we're gonna be pricing this one at $650. It should move quick and we bought it at $400. Look. I'm not a crazy fan of custom pieces, custom diamonds and stuff like that. It's not something I wear. We do sell it when customers especially ask for it, but on older 36 millimeter Datejust, 26 millimeter Datejust, 31 millimeters, in that size, it's, in my opinion, it's okay, right? Because you're getting an older watch, you're spicing it up, you're adding a diamond bezel, you're adding a diamond dowel, and you're paying a fraction of the price of what it will cost you for a brand new Rolex, right? So. Take for instance, this watch, right? I bought this watch plain for 4,600. I added a diamond bezel and I did a beautiful silver diamond dowel at the Roman numeral six and nine. We added diamonds, kind of like the current model, right? This watch, all factory, brand new, will cost you in that 20 range, right? And we're gonna be selling it for about $8,500. I mean, for $8,500, you're gonna have one really happy person wearing this watch. It's an oversized piece, really good look. You can't really go wrong with it. So that's my take on custom goods. When you're adding a custom diamond bezel, custom diamond dial on an older watch, it sometimes almost makes sense. So all you guys out there, don't get your panties in a bunch. and Start talking about custom this, custom that is trash. There's a place and time for everything. And in this situation, it's the, it's the right thing. So next up we got is, looks like a Datejust. Let's see what kind of Datejust this is. This is going to be, oh, this is a pretty watch. I love this watch. This is a Datejust 2, 41 millimeter on a Jubilee bracelet with the white stick dial. I mean, the watch on the wrist when you're wearing it, if you want some attention, this is it right here. The most popular one is always gonna be, you know, the champagne stick, champagne diamond dial, but me personally, I think the white is fire. You're gonna have the beautiful fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet, it's a great watch and honestly for the money, you can't go wrong with it, right? You're getting the best of both worlds. And this is full box and papers. It is a 2021. It's gonna be complete with the white tags and all. We are going to be doing this one $15,000. So this one we took on trade from a new customer and a new friend. Guy has great energy, dude. Every time he comes in, he's already referred us a bunch of business. So thank you for that. You're gonna know who you are when you watch this. Right here, we got a Rolex Yachtmaster 2 two-tone with a beautiful blue ceramic bezel, white dial. I love the way Rolex did this, right? Look at the inside of the dial. They added the rose accents any place that they could on it. They made the watch pop. And believe it or not, when this watch first came out, I was like, you know, I don't know how I feel about the two-tone the, with the rose gold on the blue, but the watch came out perfect. I mean, Rolex really annihilates it every single time they do something. Look at the thickness of the case. They didn't make it too thick. They made it a perfect thickness. Um, you're gonna have the gold going all the way through. This is box papers, fully complete. We are going to be doing this one at 21,800. Right here we got Creon Root Beer and it is a 2021. It's gonna be in immaculate condition. Believe it or not, this is one watch. I think it moves the fastest in the store. I do have two of them available. The reason why they're not sold is because I don't have them out. They're about to come out right now. They're both box and papers. We're gonna be pricing both of them at 21,300. So. This one we got is a Cartier Roadster with the pink dial. This is a pretty piece. I love the way they did the bracelet. You can literally clip this in and you can pull it out and you can put different straps on there. And this one we're gonna be pricing it at 2,800. So next up we got is a Rolex 
41 millimeter white gold. I always say this is one of my favorite pieces. I like it better than the Smurf and a lot of people disagree with me. I like the contrast of the black with the blue. And I also like the way that Rolex almost made it like a matte dial on the black. The difference on these also, when you know it's white gold, is Rolex on the Submariners will only do blue and white gold. They won't do it in any other color, right? And then you're also gonna have the shiny finish in the center and the matte on the outside. That's their telltale as well on the Submariners that they do it in white gold. We're gonna be pricing this one at 37,000. So next up we got is, oh my God, the Hulk. I feel like it was like, because I was talking, I was saying I like the Starbucks better, the Hulk popped up all of a sudden. Now this is gonna be the Hulk, right? You're gonna have the green dial with the green ceramic bezel and you're gonna have the matte bracelet oyster going all the way through. Let me show you guys the difference of what I was talking about earlier. On the white gold, you're gonna have the shiny center on the stainless steel, you're gonna have the mat going all the way through. That's what I'm talking about on this on the center link right there. We're gonna be doing this one at 21,500. It is box and papers fully complete and it is the white and green card. So right here we got a Batman. This is gonna be the newer reference. This is gonna be the 126710 aka Batman. Right, the difference between the Batman and the Batgirl is the Batgirl is gonna have the jewelry bracelet, Batman's gonna be the oyster bracelet. That's the only difference, right? And the Batgirl only comes on the newer reference. The older reference, it was only the Batman because Rolex didn't introduce the Jubilee bracelet until afterwards. So this one we took in a trade for 15,500. We're gonna be pricing this one at $18,000. Right here, we got a Rolex Datejust 41 millimeter. This is gonna be the newer reference and it's gonna be the smooth bezel with the black stick dial. One of the sharpest dials that they come out with on these. You're gonna have a beautiful oyster bracelet. This is full, complete box and papers. We're gonna be pricing this one at $9,500. Next up we got is the big daddy of the Sky Dwellers. Rolex Sky Dweller, black stick dial with the full yellow gold. Believe it or not, this is one Rolex in the full gold that I get in the least amount. Whenever we get it in, it almost sells instantly. It's a beautiful watch, gorgeous timepiece. This one we're gonna be pricing at $48,000. It's box papers. I actually have a champagne dial in right now too. So if it's something that you want, you don't really get to see it in any stores or anything like that, come by, check it out. We have both dials. What do we got next? Mm -hmm. Right here, we got a Rolex Daytona. The king! This is a Rolex Daytona two-tone with the white dial. It's a 40 millimeter case size. It's an automatic movement with the chronograph feature. What that means is it's gonna be a built-in stopwatch into your watch. This is box. No papers. This is a V serial. We're gonna be pricing it at $18,200. So we got a Rolex Datejust 41 millimeter with a beautiful charcoal gray diamond dial. Now this is gonna be the older reference number. You're gonna be able to see it's gonna have a thicker bezel, thicker lugs. It's almost gonna feel like it's bigger than the newer reference number, but they are both the same millimeter size. This one we're gonna be pricing it at 11,000. All right, so next up we got is a... Panerai. So this is a good looking piece. It's gonna be a Panerai Luminar. It is gonna be a 44 millimeter case size, but what makes this watch unique is it is an eight day power reserve. Beautiful color combo. We're gonna be selling this one at $4,800. Oh, this is cool. So this is gonna be a Tag Aqua Racer. This is a great looking watch. It's gonna be a big case size. I don't know the exact millimeter on it, but I'm guessing it's gonna be at least like a 42 to 44 millimeter. Really good looking rubber strap on it with the deployment buckle. For the wearability of the watch and the price point, it's great. You're gonna have the calendar wheel right over here. And this one, we're gonna be pricing it at 1600. All right, so we got this one for my flashy boys out there. Rolex Sky Dweller fully iced. Not something you see every day, right? It's sick. I mean, the watch is fully iced everywhere. Full case, full side bracelet, going all the way through the bracelet. We're gonna be selling this one at $26,500. Ooh, this is pretty. We were just talking about the black dial earlier on the white dial, right? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be a Rolex Datejust 2, 41 millimeter two-tone. You're gonna have a black stick dial, fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet. It is box and papers. It is gonna be a 2018. It's gonna be the white and green card. We are going to be pricing this bad boy at $15,000. So right here, we have a watch that's under retail. Mm. And that's pretty, that's a Rolex. Are you ready for it? Okay. Rolex Yachtmaster Two-Tone. Under retail, ladies and gentlemen. I believe the retail is around $26,000 or $27,000. We have it truly at Happy Jewelers. It is pre-owned. We're gonna be doing this one at $21,500. The retail is $25,400 at Rolex plus tax. So you're looking at around like 27,000 depending on the city you live in. So we got an RM 
6701 full box papers everything complete tell me how freaking sexy this is dude full 18 karat white gold all factory diamonds skeletonized dial with the sickest pink velcro strap tell me that's not fire look how good the green looks on it we're going to be selling this one at two hundred thousand dollars it's complete it does come with the original black rubber strap with the deployment it is available come and get it so right here we have a zenith all Primero cohiba edition they partnered up with cohiba the cigar brand and they made this watch so you're gonna have the yellow on the bottom of the dial over here you're gonna have the skeletonized right there it is gonna be a chronograph so you're gonna have a full stopwatch in the watch you're gonna have this yellow second hand for your chronograph right there and it is a full see-through case back with the cohiba emblem right there on it it is brand new it's complete box and papers we're gonna be selling this one at eight thousand eight hundred dollars all right guys thanks for always watching that was gonna be our watch unboxing and pricing with danny always make sure to like and comment down below and tell us which one your favorite was <laughs>